Hello, today we're going to work on a profit slash loss or a profit and loss problem. So let's just get right into it. Carl recently sold a tract of land for $67,900 that he purchased 10 years ago for $24,000. What was his percent of profit? Well, we already know our first step is to make a T-bar. And the easiest thing to place into a T-bar is the rate. In this problem, we're actually looking for the rate. We're looking for a rate of profit, which means up top we're going to have an amount of profit. And we know all profits and all, all losses are based off of what you originally paid. All right. Now that we've labeled the T-bar, let's try to put some of these numbers in there. So the first number we come to is 67.9. Well, we know that is most definitely not the amount of profit, I wish, and it's not what he originally paid. So we'll just leave that number alone for right now. 10 years ago, that doesn't go into our T-bar. And then we've got that $24,000. That's what he purchased the property for, so I'm gonna put that into the $24,000 right here into the originally paid. Now we need to find the amount of profit. Well, he sold it recently for $67,900, but he paid $24,000 for it. So the difference is his profit. That's the money he made. It was a pretty good investment here. And that's going to be $43,900. That is our profit, so we put it right here, $43,900. Now we have two out of three, so we remember TGIF, top goes in first, and into the calculator we'll put 43,900 divided by 24,000, and that's gonna give us an answer of 1.82 nine, which I would turn to 1.83. And that means our answer up here is 183%. This is the answer we're going to want on the test. Now, for those people who are like, okay, well, that doesn't make sense. I want you to think about it. $24,000 was his initial investment. And now, because he took that $24,000 out of his account, he has $43,000 of new money, which means this was not just 100% of what he invested, which was the 24,000, but he almost doubled it. And that's what that 183% 183 represents. He almost doubled his money, so, or he made, almost double of what he invested is probably the better way to say that. I hope that makes sense. And as always, if you have any questions, reach out to me and I look forward to seeing you for the next problem. Bye.